Hey everybody! I've decided to start some mini series Alice in Wonderland Steampunkish themed objects. And as first, I created for you Flamingo, not this one. <laughs> okay, this one I created too, but this one I don't have tutorial for. No, although not this one. This one. I'm using black female soft, as you can see. First, uh, shape flamingo's body. It's easy, it looks a little bit like a duck or like a swan. So we are shaping an oval with the little tail which is going down and uh, head on the long neck and big beak. <laughs> make a dent for an eye. I already made eyes before and I have made a movie about it, you can find it on my channel too. And legs! I used the two really long uh, eye pins to make legs. After I decided to decorate them with little bits, but this I don't have recorded, I'll show you on photos later how it looks like. Add an eye pin if you want to make it a charm or don't if you don't want to make it as, as a pendant. I do, so I added one. Here it is. High time to add some decorations, some steampunkish decorations. I will be adding some screws, some gears and uh, some metal plating. I'm putting female under his head because the female soft is too soft for the neck, so my the, the head of my flamingo was falling down. Here I'm cutting some female for metal plating on his neck. I'm wrapping it around, as you can see. It's really soft. I have I should have chosen some female classic for this project. It would be easier. I recommend. <laughs> Feathers. To make some feathers, roll out uh, some clay, quite thin, preferably on the two second, um, second setting on pasta machine, and then cut out feather shape, like me, like you can see. Now flatten a little bit edges of every feather and draw the details. Not very to it normally like the feather like I know at first it looks a little bit like a leaf but soon it will start looking like a feather after making all the details now take your needle uh, tool and start fluffing it around with the scratching it a little bit and taking away some parts it should be fluffy and not regular, because feathers are never regular.
start applying your feathers at the back and work it up to front simply to cover the back feathers with the front ones to make some order. Some metal plating also on the back of it. It could have been better on my flamingo, but I placed the eye pin on not really fortune place, fortunate place, because it was completely in the middle. You can do it better and more regular. Oops, it fell. <laughs> the rest of his uncovered body I'm adding some scratches to make some texture and some let's say fairy structure it's high time to add some color to my flamingo because it's really black for now I'm using currently color which is used, which is called uh, flamingo pink. That's parallax because I haven't shown that. It's really very uh, vibrant pink, very vivid and very nice. Camera is not fully showing. It makes it more purple a little bit, but it's it's in really it's very very vivid pink, not purple. And here I'm adding some color which is called reflect uh, reflex violet. On camera it looks a little bit blue, but in real it's closer to pink, it's violet pink, not blue. <laughs> and now I'm adding real blue, just in, in some places, it's turquoise from Parallax. Those, those details I'm painting with uh, Perfect Go from Perfect Pearls. And yay, a cookie! My boyfriend came home and gave me a cookie. Yay! To paint uh, those details, now I'm using Antique Copper from Parallax. And now I'm adding some uh, silver also from Parallax.
For parts which are supposed to be more shiny, I'm adding Perfect Bronze from Perfect Pearls. Look how shiny it is. I like shiny. <laughs> And voila, c'est fini, c'est prêt. Now it's ready to be baked. And here are some examples of all of the previous flamingos. I like this one the best. The last one has two short legs, so meh, meh. Bake and glaze. Thanks for watching, come back for more, bye!